Okay, next we're going to open it up to public discussion on item two. If anybody has anything they would like to say that is not on the agenda, now is your time to do so. You have three minutes to do so. I watched the May 9th special meeting, again to handle a complaint within the police department. I can't believe that you allow bad actors to continue to open the wound. It's ridiculous. You hired an interim chief, let him do his job. You are establishing a terrible precedent and demeaning the chief's authority. Let him, city manager, HR manager, and union chief call them together with the complainants and resolve this. If they can't come to an agreement, fire them or let the union chief decide. If they want to sue, let them ruin their careers. If you can't fire them, then renegotiate our contracts so that you can. We're not running a post office. Commissioners, when you gave us residents the referendum to give you higher fire authority, we the residents did not vote for you to have operational authority. Commissioner Simone, especially you, you've always said that the commission was not equipped. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He, he's not attacking. Listen, if somebody wants to come up and say Stop something. Stop the time, please. You, last week, you verbally went after Commissioner Simone. Go back and watch the meeting. I'm CLA not, a, meeting. I'm not so, attacking. So if he wants to come up, and so anybody wants to come up, you know what? Years ago when I was here, a guy named Rich Popovic would come up blast us, say whatever he wanted. You know what the city manager said? Let him do it, let him get it out. When you try to shut down the people is when they come at you even more. If he wants to come up and say something, he's more than welcome to. And I don't mind you doing it. If anybody wants to come up and say anything they want, whether it be about city of Margate or anything else, say it. If you're proud of your child because they graduated from another school, come up and say it. If you want to applaud, applaud. But I'm not gonna single-handedly say you can only say good things in this chamber. Because if people want to come up and complain, now's their time, and I'm not shutting them down. You got a problem with it? You did it as I mayor. I don't do I it as mayor. That's not, I'm not attacking. I'm not attacking. Okay. You right. know what? You're, you're, you're a city right. commissioner. Don't no, put your hand down. You can't say you don't want to be spoken to or you don't want to be talked bad about. That's part of your job. Get over it or go sit down there. And, and even if I was attacking, I have a First Amendment right you attack, to speak. You can do whatever you want, as long as you don't curse. This Why country was founded on aggressive speech. Commissioner Simone, especially you, you always said that the commission is not equipped to manage the police department. You were always against this referendum. But now, here you go. You're getting right in the heart of it and want to become part of the management decision of this issue. You are all great to start an investigation and so on. Let the interim chief handle it. Commission, Vice, Mayor, Vice Mayor Schwartz, at that meeting, you said, what we do for one, we do for all. So if I initiate a complaint about how we should investigate why we didn't bring a vote to the Sunshine on, to acquire the Palm Lakes golf course, are we going to have an investigation? Let's do it. What we do for one, we do for all. Actually, I was... Mayor, Re I'm not so, finished. I'm sorry. Mayor Rosano, Commissioner yeah. Osario, Go thank ahead. you for the maturity of how you handled that issue. It gives us hope. So will one of you three have the courage from the prevailing side to revote this? Let's handle this the right way. Let the interim chief handle it. And please, if we're going to have an investigation, hire a retired police chief to do it, not a woke attorney who has never run a police department. The interim chief cannot because his name in it. So therefore he cannot touch it. I'm talking now. Secondly, when I said what we do for one, we do for all, I specifically talked about investigation having to do with two former chiefs ago. I made it very clear this is all part of the same thing. This is not anything else so that you and I are clear because my English is very good. Yes, but your intentions are not. This is not you about can't a read police my chief. Mind, so this is not know. about a police chief. It's an internal complaint. Let the chief decide. Let the chief give the chief the money to hire an outside, outside police chief to run it. That's time and time again, you make an emotional decision, and they're usually wrong. But anyway, Mr. Rosano and Commissioner Osario, thank you. you very much for your maturity on the issue. Okay. And Commissioner Simone, you have done a complete reversal of what you felt. 
You were against the re referendum, and now you're right deep in the heart of it. Okay. Anybody else? We call it alternative facts, right? Okay, with that, we're going to close public discussion. We're going to go into commission comments. Commissioner Osario. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the first item I wanted to just bring up is uh, you've got elections coming up in November and, and things uh, are starting to heat up. Um, I'm not up the cycle, neither is Commissioner Simone, but I just want the residents to be conscious of where they get their information from. There's like 50 plus different groups I see on Facebook and they all are spreading all different kinds of information and many of it is grotesquely false. Um, some of it's backed by candidates. So just w when you see this information, if you have a question, reach out to the city's website, city's Facebook page, contact us directly. I know Mayor Rosano is on Facebook all the time. He responds, so do I. But just make sure you really check the facts, check the sources of the information, because I can tell you as the election gets closer, it's only going to get worse. So just be conscious of that. Uh, the other thing I want to bring up, um, I brought it up at the special city commission meeting. It may not have been the right time. Also, uh, maybe some of the residents weren't paying attention to that meeting. But, you know, I had brought up um, getting a price for BSO police. Um, I'm not asking to switch. Um, but as I pointed out at that meeting, the commission did give consensus to get pricing on the fire side. Um, we are also in the process of hiring a new police chief, which is a daunting task. Um, I'm told the salary for that is going to be probably expect a minimum of what we're paying now. It's probably going to be higher than that. We've got the union contract coming up, and I'm not, they deserve an increase in my opinion, um, but it's going to cost a pretty penny. You know, we're adding a third person to the fire engine, which I've been supporting for a long time. Um, but we've got to make sure that we can afford all of this. And when you look at other cities that are with BSO, you know, one city that comes to mind is Tamarack. Similar city, I'm not trying to compare apples to apples per se, but similar city in size. Um, I think they've got maybe 10, 15,000 more residents than we do. They're also, I believe, 12 square miles, we're nine. Um, and they pay, I was actually off by a million dollars. They pay 5 million less than we do for our, our uh, police services. Um, I've spoken to members of the police department that think it's a, a, not a bad idea to consider that. Um, I don't think the topic's gonna go away, especially as we get into these negotiations. Um, I know, well, I'm not gonna mention names, but one of my colleagues who has grown on me over the last couple of years, they're known for always wanting to get more information and I was surprised that they didn't want the information at the last meeting. I'm not going to ask for a cons I'm not going to put anyone on the spot or ask for a consensus tonight. But as we go through this process, as we start negotiating with the union contract, I think we'd be doing a disservice if we at least did not get pricing on it. Um, I think it's going to come up again, but I just wanted to put it out there on a record at a commission meeting. I want to make sure I do my due diligence before we hire a police chief and before we start going into the contract negotiations. I want to know and have a, a comparison apples to apples of what BSO could provide, what we would want to see from them, and, and what that cost would be. But I think it's going to be not only cheaper for the day-to-day -day operations, but I think for retirement, pensions, workers' comp claims, all the money that we seem to be spending on investigations, that would all be put onto the sheriff's hands. So I just... If you can, some of you consider, think about at least getting pricing on it so we can make an informed decision. Uh, that's all I have. I agree with you. <clears throat> Vice Mayor. Well, since you each just took a position, I'm going to tell you, I couldn't care how cheap we, uh, the BSO would be. That's not what I would do to my city. Fire, police, water, sewer. That's what makes a city. I won't give up my police department to the county when they have their own issues. And quite frankly, I like the fact that if I were to call and give an address, the people at the city would not ask me if Atlantic Boulevard was in Delray Beach. So I think it's a bad idea to give up our police department. 
that's to me, I, I just, having, knowing what goes on with the BSO cities and the fact that they never know who's going to be working there and how much it's going to cost. And just so you know, they're FRS just like that we are. So therefore, the pension is not cheaper. It's exactly the same as we're paying now because we all belong to the same. It's calculated in. So I think it's a really bad idea. Um, and to pass off what we should be doing, what we were elected to do, to a third party, I think it's a bad way to go. I don't want BSO in my city. They want to come and help us with their helicopter, that's great. But I enjoy the men and women who have been here for 20 years coming to work and saying they enjoy it, or a gentleman going from Parks and Rec to the police department, which we wouldn't have with BSO. So since you brought it up, I will never be a fan of that. More importantly, Memorial Day uh, will be May 27th, 9 a.m., Veterans Park. Please come and join us as we honor the people who have died to make America great. Nothing more, thank you. you got, um, Joanne, did you have your light on or no? Do you want to go? Okay. I'm not sure that now is the right time for BSO. The sheriff is up for re-election. A lot of things could change, so I'm just not sure because of that, that this is the right time to go into any uh, getting proposals or pricing from them because we don't know what's going to happen with the sheriff. So maybe after, you know, November after the election, we find out if the sheriff retains his seat or if there's going to be a new sheriff, then that may be a better conversation to have. Okay. I'll touch on it as well. The... Um... The, the the mention of BSO coming in, I think when we asked for the fire, I think only you voted for it, correct? I don't even remember. So to me, to at least get a number, see where we're at, see what they're going to offer, whether we can keep our guys, whether we can't keep our guys, I, I just think to even ask is a good service to the residents. And I understand what Commissioner Simone is saying, but now you look at it like that, it's even a better time now to ask because the sheriff is probably going to be willing to give us whatever he can give us, because in this election year, it's usually how it works. The union negotiation, that was just a couple days ago, sitting right here, and the union's looking for, uh, for a lot of money. So it's either we're gonna have to find this money, because they're deserved, I mean, every one of them is deserved of what they get. However, I'm gonna go to this other issue, this investigation that's going on. I really wish that somebody would bring it back and reconsider the city manager, the city attorney, and the city clerk, and the city uh, attorney, not to be in it. If you read the report and you read the complaint, there's nothing in there that deserves an investigation on these two, even on the chief as well. And let me tell you something: we hired the chief about a month ago. We sat here. We all voted for Mike Palmer to be the chief. We said, Mike, do what you need to do. Make this department right. He does one thing. Two weeks later, there's an investigation called on him by this commission. Totally wrong. Then you want to investigate the everyday uh, actions of what's going on. You have four investigations now going on. You have one on him, 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 and the everyday of the police station. It's not going to end. Wait till somebody comes up and wants to do an investigation and adds your, one of your names to the report. Then you're going to be like, you know what? It's really not fair. No. But if you read the report, you read the, what we were given, there's no reason that they should be in it. And you guys want to do the right thing? Take them out. If let them do their work. Let them investigate what needs to be investigated and let the chief go and let these two go. I would expect that anyone who looks at the complaint, which we technically can't talk about, We'll look at the two pages where they're mentioned and assume there is absolutely no reason to go further. But that's for the person who looks at all of it to decide. But you're the right. decision maker, Arlene. No. Whether it comes we back were told we and it says, and it says, and it says, you know what, you guys should look into it. Where do you want to go from there? What do you want to do? I don't think they're going to say that to us. But if you've investigated everything else because we were told we needed to do so, you don't decide at this point because I don't want to be sued for a pre prejudicial opinion and being biased when I decide I didn't like the last two pages. I don't have a law degree. Apparently, we feel we need to have someone. One. Our city attorney has said we need to have someone. Therefore, I have to listen to the city attorney. 
But as far as anything else, and by the way, just so you're aware, many years ago, when none of you were sitting up here, Lauder Hill went to BSO. They gave them their cars. One year later, Lauder Hill dropped out of the contract and had to buy all new cars again. It's very nice to go to BSO for that one year when they promise you everything, and the next year, when the contract changes and now you're locked in. There's no way, at least when we negotiate three years, we know what's gonna go on for three years. When you negotiate one year with BSO, you have no clue what's gonna happen the next year. You have no clue what the sheriff is gonna decide he needs to do. So it's a, it's a mixed bag and I don't think this is the time to do it. And actually I would agree, you wait till after the, the election and then you worry, you want a price, you go get a price. I won't ever vote for it. So you're saying it's okay to look into to get a price? I'm not, you already outvoted me the last time. No, we there didn't. Two, no, but I asked at the special yes. meeting for consensus to get a price. And he it, did. And it went three to three two. two against. Well, then I don't know. Can the two of you, I'm not going to stop you from doing whatever you want to do, because you can certainly ask the city clerk to do so. You don't need my permission for that. But I will never vote to give up my police department to anybody else. It's not giving up your police department. It is, as far as I'm concerned. I'm a 42-year resident. It's my police department. Okay. That's how I look at it. The okay. men and women who wear the uniform work for this city. Okay. They don't work for another person who will decide after a year that you have no one you can speak to unless you go through someone else and never get to the sheriff. I, I've never heard that from any other cities. There's, I think oh, ask multiple city. cities that have ask had BSO and they all re-signed again to go with BSO. And what you're saying, if you're, anybody who's going to do a one-year contract is just an idiot to do an, a one-year contract in something of this magnitude. So you can't, yeah. you're not going to know unless you find out, but we're not even allowing our city manager to find out. I was out. going to say, it's typically a multi-year contract, and you're right. They, all of those cities that allegedly had issues re-signed, every single one. Um, Kenbrook Park was told to pound sand and given one month to make up their own police department because they disagreed with something that was going on. Look it up. I was sitting there and I watched it happen. I believe that was a unique situation. But, you know, the other thing is our charter, they would still have to follow. So the sheriff Anyone? couldn't, well, the sheriff couldn't just put in a commander in charge of Margate that we don't approve of. That's not how it cities. works. With the police, with the fire department, they would have kept the chief for one year, and then they would have uh, they would have moved him, and that's what the contract said, and put someone else in. If we uh, if we approved it. No, that's not what the contract said. They only we agreed. We don't even have a contract, so I don't know. When they sent us the paper, no, they sent us the paperwork. We never we all... asked for one. You're wrong. Yeah, we asked for a police BSO report no, in the last police, five years. No, we asked for fire. I'm talking about fire. I said fire chief yeah. would have been gone after a year. That's what the paperwork said. That's not the police, though. No, they well, would have had to wait different. a year if they wanted to transfer, I believe is what it was. No, you were only allowed to have your person for a year, and then that person was to be moved somewhere else at the discretion of BSO. Okay, so you don't know until you ask. So I'm going to go back and ask if anybody would want to reconsider taking the city manager, the city attorney, or the police chief out of the investigation. I, I, as you know, Mayor, I, I voted with you to take them off of it. It didn't pass. I voted for the investigation after we failed to get their names off because I still feel like the individual making the complaint and others mentioned in it should be looked at. Um, I would gladly call it back being on the prevailing side, but I don't know if their support Okay. I don't, I don't think there is, but I could tell you this, no matter how this plays out, there's going to be another guy shifted another time. We're going to get another report. I won't yeah. have a problem with that. This is all ties back to the Shaw investigation. It's the only reason I care to have it looked into. I think it's the only reason we all care. That, that's, that's in the past, though. But that's what this is about. According it's it's to in the, the past, though. It's in the past. What it's about. We just had a case here with the old chief that there were text messages from the past, and you were like, that's from the past. I don't want to hear it. I never said that. Okay. We got rid of him because the past, unfortunately, bit him in the present. We didn't get rid of him. He resigned. Okay. He retired. That's correct. The day after a 1 a.m. in the morning session where people of his own department got up and spoke things that probably they didn't well, need Maybe to you do. should have listened to him because you were the I ones that approved him. for him to move on. 
No, I approved to give him six months, and quite frankly, That's, that was because the union came and spoke to me. That's approved to go on. No, six months, and I didn't expect anything would happen. But okay. the union came to me and asked me to work that out with them. Okay. I never really had this happen before, but the officer that's uh, watching over the meeting wanted to say something. Do you mind? I, just... I don't mind. Hi. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Tony Carecci. I've been here 34 years. Margate's the best place I've ever worked in my life, my entire life. This is the best place. The, I got to tell you, a couple of weeks ago, my, my uh, father-in-law who was battling cancer, old Sicilian man, fell, couldn't get up. My wife was there. She called 911. They live off Atlantic Boulevard. Rescue came out there. They didn't know I related to me and whatever. They treat him with kid gloves, and they um, convinced him to go to the hospital. A week later, the doctor said if he didn't go there, he'd probably be dead now. The idea that you would even look somewhere else, go BSO with the fire department, you have the best fire department in the country. They've been they're world renowned. They've been to Russia. They've been to all these other places. You don't understand the jewel that you have here. I moved my parents here 25 years ago, okay? Because of the fire department. My mother was, was diabetic. She could barely see. My stepfather was sick. I said, you got to come to Margate. And I can't tell you how many times we used the fire department. Um, how could you even think about replacing these guys is, is, is unfathomable, I'm telling you. Number two, the police department, okay? You all remember Al Lamberti? He, he lived in Margate when he was the top, top uh, sheriff in here. I always would say, Al, when are you going to take over Margate? And he goes, you know what? Never. And I said, why, Al? He says, because this is a hometown police department. You know, he lived in Margate. He just moved out a few years ago. He said, because this is a hometown police department. That's what I love about it. That's what I love about it. He always asked me to go there, and I said, no. I said, we do shop with a cop. We do Hanukkah with a cop. Uh, we do Thanksgiving. We do so many things, and it's such a beautiful city. We do so many things that people don't even know about, okay? You have a great police department. Okay, we got a couple of hiccups here and there. You know what? It's a new generation of, um, that doesn't understand what it is to have a decent job and put food on the table. I worked in Rikers Island for 10 years, and every day I went there, I hated it. I've been here tw uh, almost 34 years I've been working as a police officer here. I go to work with a smile every day, and I thank God for this wonderful police department and I know Mike, 30 years. I think we, we did, we're doing a good job with this guy. Give him a chance, okay? Now, talk about BSO coming over here with the police department. Anybody ever talk to anybody from um, um, Parkland? You know what BSO does? They come in there with about 200 cops. They're all over the place. They're stepping on each other. After the first year, they pull everybody out. He gets transferred. Yeah, this guy winds up retiring because he doesn't want to work under those conditions. And Margate, you'll probably have about four cops. When they call 911, they're going to get an answering machine or they're going to get a, uh, somebody who's going to talk them through it. The beauty of Margate is when you call about a dead cat or you call about a water leak, you get a cop, you get a fireman, you get everything public works, you get them. You go BSO, you're going to lose all that. I mean, we took a big hit when we lost uh, 911. And I even made a joke about it. When you used to call 911, they would say, oh, it's by the old Albertsons. And guys like me that worked here for a number of years, oh, okay, I remember that. Or it's behind the Dunkin' Donuts. Now when you call 911, you got to tell them what city, what state, and what friggin' country you're in, okay? That's the way I tell people it is. Be patient, you gotta get through. That was a big mess that we lost, BS, uh, we lost to BSO, and that was about money. Use your money wisely. If you gotta make some cutbacks and stuff, you wanna get rid of an old timer like me, that's fine, I understand. I'll do anything for this city. Don't lose your sight of it. And Arlene, 30 years ago, when I was helping to put door hangers up, as a rookie, she said to me, you know what makes a city? Water, fire, police. 
and you just mentioned it again today. I'm sorry if this is out of character. I hope I don't get in trouble, uh, Chief. But I just had to say that because I have a love for the city that's second to none. I mean, my kids come first. That's it. My wife, uh, neck to neck, you know? <laughs> but this is a great city, man. Let's not lose sight of what we have here. It's so easy to talk about numbers. Remember, this is... You, you, Al asked us, I, I begged Al to take us. I thought I'd be a colonel or something like that. And he goes, no, man, I'll never touch Margate. And that came from the sheriff, who really gave a care about the community and, 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 and you know, the city. So just keep that in mind when you start getting prices and stuff like that. You get what you pay for. You do. You get what you pay for. Just be careful of that. I'm, I'd hate to see anything go awry in such a beautiful city. And I love every commissioner here. And the city manager used to be my student when I was a, a cop at Margate Middle School. So I know everyone personally. It's uncharacteristic of doing this. I'm sorry, but you know. First time, I appreciate it. I know, it. hey. Good. After me, there's going to be more. <laughs> well, I know, I know, no, I know. But thank you for your time. I, and, I, and I appreciate thank that. You. And just so you guys know, the uh, the fire department, they asked to go to BSO. Okay. They, they, they all want, majority chief, of them chief, wanted it. So. Chief, 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 chief. <laughs> you got a great department. You got a great fire department. You know, I always, I, I never brag about you guys to your face, but I always say it behind. You got a great department. What they did for my father-in-law, as a stranger, I can only, I've seen them bring people back to life. I mean, you remember uh, what? Um, there was one commissioner here. They brought him back, and you know, and we weren't that thrilled about it. But no. A, quite a few people. These guys are incredible. These guys almost, you know who I'm talking about. But anyway, these okay, guys are like doctors. Let me leave now, okay? Thank you. All right. Thank you, Tom. All right. <laughs> uh.